that was a New Orleans jazz standard entitled Second Line. And the Second Line is a group of people that follows a jazz band parading down the street. They dance and inspire the musicians to get deeper into the groove. The Second Line Parade and Jazz were born around the turn of the 20th century in the city of New Orleans, Louisiana. Now, in the city at that time, many different types of people lived together in the same neighborhoods. French, Spanish, descendants of all types of Africans, Caribbean people, in other words, Americans. But the thing is, even though these people were living close to one another, they really didn't like each other. The music gave them an opportunity to creep closer to each other and get to know each other on more familiar terms. The first band to play New Orleans jazz was led by a cornetist named Buddy Bolden. The thing that made him special was that he knew what all these people had in common. He was like a translator, except instead of translating languages, he translated human feeling and emotion into the language of music. He realized that all of these people got jealous, happy, tired, hungry, had relatives they didn't get along with, and they got sick, amongst many other things. Buddy Bolden knew how to put this knowledge of what everyone had in common into music with his band. They showed everyone that New Orleans jazz was about working together with feeling and style. This working together is called collective improvisation. Now, I know those two words might sound intimidating, but improvisation simply means making up or inventing something at the spur of the moment, something that we do every day, like what type of clothes we put on or what we say when we go to speak. Collective just means together with another person or group of people. An example of collective improvisation would be a conversation. For example, this improvisation between me and Mr. Wycliffe Gordon. <laughs> 